Hey everyone, I found something really, really funny. There's someone's original story on DeviantArt. It was brought to my attention, I favorited it, then I forgot about it, and I've come back. And this whole story, and it's really funny, I'm gonna read it dramatically, because it's so hilarious. I think some, like, Italian girl wrote it, so it's supposed to be the perspective of a woman, but I can't really do a good girl voice. <laughs> No, I'm just gonna do a dude voice. And she is Italian, so that's probably why the English is so bad, but who cares, it's funny, let's go. Year 2189. The Earth is destroyed by pollution, wars, waste, and overpopulation. A group of scientists, scared by the future of the humanity, organized a mission called Noel's Project. Years and years of watching the space, looking for another planet where to live, and then the miracle appeared. A mysterious planet called, by the team, Hope was created a special shuttle for visit it. Some probes were sent on its surface, after some monkeys and for the last, some humans. The planet had a primordial atmosphere, some water inside and some strange plants. Yusa decided to colonize the planet, bringing a group of people on it, with some oxygen, some construction materials, some seeds and animals. After that, the migration begin. Not all the humans were allowed to colonize Hope, because there was a big payment to do. They had to be healthy and genetically correct sane of mind and under the age of 30. The other humans would leave on the earth, where they built a jail receiving and exchange food, water, clothes, and things for live. The rules of hope were very several. Forbidden smoking, forbidden not pay the bills, forbidden have pets, forbidden not work, and forbidden get sick for more than six months. When somebody didn't respect this rules, it was terminated instantly by the robo-police, a new generation of technologic and efficient robots. I've born in- <coughs> I've born in the year 2240 on hope, but my life changed one special day. Guess that's the end of the introduction, let's go into part one. M. Sarah Santos. I have born in the mysterious and helpful planet called Hope. When I was a teenager, I was a very bad girl. I was a rebel. That's something I should never say. I had long, smooth, blonde hair with a black tuft on it. I was tall and thin, and I had blue eyes. For the standards of Hope, I was the genetically perfect girl. But I wasn't perfect inside. I always skipped the lessons at the School of Formation to go with my gang called the Freaks of Hope. We were six people. Trash, an Afro-American boy with the raster hair, angry with the racism of Hope. Celine, a beautiful girl with red curly hair, angry with the system and anarchic as hell. Lay, a goddamn nerd who helped us with the informatic stuff. Jade, a girl with purple hair and tattoos all over her body. And lesbian. And for the last, Conal. He were what Hope's government called useless. Both parents on Earth, he were alone and angry complete useless to the system. When we were together, we did drawings on the houses. We protested and we smoke weed. <laughs> that day began with a sunny Monday morning. I were walking in one of the tunnels of hope. <laughs> who were full of oxygen, guaranteeing life for the citizens. When I get to the central square, I found Trash and Celine, who will make out behind a wall. I laughed and I shouted, Hey you two! I hope you're using condoms! They stopped and Trash smiled to me. Celine was blushing nervously. Probably she was a bit embarrassed about that situation. I walked near them and I pulled out one of my lovely Marlboro cigarettes imported illegally from Earth. I started to smoke. You know that is forbidden, Trash said lazily. Oh come on Trash, the police is not here yet, isn't it? <laughs> I answered, annoyed. I talked with them. Trash had received a new box of marijuana from Earth and he was planning a great rave night at his house. What a junkie. Celine was ready for a wild sex night with her brother. Yes, sh she was a bit bitchy. <laughs> After some minutes, Jade and Conal arrived. Jade seemed happy. She had a new tattoo. Jade came and embraced me hard, and Conal did the same thing after her. Conal had a great day because he found a big piece of silver, what could be useful for something. Jade showed us her new tattoo. It was a strange bird with an arrow in his mouth, inside a circle. What does it mean? Celine asked. Look. Jade pulled out from her bag a book with the same bird on the cover. She smiled and she said proudly, It's called Hunger Games. <laughs>
It's a beautiful story. The book comes from my uncle on Earth. He said it talks about a revolution and the bird is the symbol. I wasn't interested at all, so I asked if someone had an idea of what to do that day. Jade proposed to go to the robo-police and ruin their cars, but it was too dangerous. And was dangerous too to stay there all day. So we followed the propose of Conal drawing on walls. We took our spray bottles from our bags and then we moved on. The place to draw this time was the children's school. So that's the first chapter of Hope, I think. She ordered it really weirdly and named it all really weirdly so I have no idea what's really going on but honestly one of the most intriguing, interesting stories I've ever read. I just want to know more and luckily there is a little bit more but I assume after me reading this she's going to be extremely angry at me. So what do you guys think of the story? You looking forward to chapter 2? Because I am. Don't go and spoil it for yourself. Wait for the new vid. But anyways, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. I can't wait for the next part. Make sure you check out some of my other videos. I'll see you next time. Bye!